Mario Kart Wii is a game that is absolutely littered with shortcuts. And I'm pretty sure that doesn't come as a surprise to any of you. Now in a game like Mario Kart Wii that's so littered with shortcuts, it's important to know the actual definition of what a shortcut is. According to the Oxford Dictionary and apparently Dr. Smallcox, a shortcut is a shorter alternative route. And I sure hope you remember that definition because we are going to be stretching it as far as we can. To make things more simpler in the context of Mario Kart Wii, any time we cut off a part of the minimap, that means we're taking a shortcut. Now that I've established what a shortcut is, it's finally a good time to establish what we're actually doing today. We're going to be finding easy, and I mean super mega, barely even a shortcut kind of easy. I'm talking shortcuts so easy, you're going to be debating over whether they're actually shortcuts or not. Now as we all know, there's 32 whole tracks in this game, all with their own unique set of super duper easy shortcuts. So to make life easier, I've compiled a list of 10 shortcuts that I think are the 10 easiest in the whole game. Important disclaimer alert, this is not in order. The 10 tracks that I've chosen are completely out of order. The easiest one could be the first, second, third, fourth, tenth, whatever, okay? This is not a tier list, this is not a ranking list. It's just 10 tracks that I think are the easiest, and I'm gonna choose which one is the absolute easiest. Now that we know exactly what we're tackling today, let's go ahead and jump right into our top 10 easiest shortcuts list. Starting off strong with our first shortcut, we have the Mushroom Gorge Off-Road Glitch. This shortcut is super simple to pull off. Simply use your mushroom right before you go over the boost panel and you will do it. Cut the turn tighter because you have the off-road glitch enabled and that's the shortcut. Now in terms of difficulty, this thing is like very, very easy. Compared to actual shortcuts, this one is one of the easiest shortcuts ever. However, we do have to acknowledge the slight difficulties that come along with this shortcut. For starters, you actually have to hit the item button. Some of the shortcuts we're going to talk about today, you do not use the item button at all. You also have to drift. Some of the shortcuts we talk about today, you don't even have to move. Now I know that might sound a little bit petty, like, oh my goodness, I have to hit the mushroom button and drift in a Mario Kart game? No! But seriously, like, some of these shortcuts are so incredibly easy, that's going to become a actual playing factor into what's more difficult. Now let's talk about why this shortcut is in the running for the easiest. For starters, you have an almost 100% guarantee of making it every single time. You can hit the wall and still make it across, and since you're not affected by off-road, it's not going to slow you down at all. The only actual way I can see someone failing it is if they deliberately go out of their way to try to fail. Now using the mushroom and getting across to the other side is super simple. However, if you don't have arms or legs, the next section might be a bit tricky. Overall, it's an extremely easy shortcut, definitely deserving to be on this list. However, I think we can go easier. Up next on our list, we have the tricking over the holes on Rainbow Road. Now hear me out when I say this is a shortcut. You see, if you look really, really closely, we are cutting off a portion of the track. Therefore, according to our definition put forth by Dr. Smallcox, it's a shortcut. So with that established, I don't want any of you stinky plebeians bickering in the comment section, okay? Alright, now that we've got that out of the way and we know it's a shortcut, how easy is it? Very in terms of difficulties, tricking is basically necessary because if you don't trick, there is a high chance you will fall straight through the hole. I mean, you can do it without steering or tricking, but if you really want to cut off more of the gap, you're going to have to trick. However, we're not talking about time-saving ability today. We're just talking about easiness. And in terms of easiness, I'm pretty sure a blind man with his hands tied behind his back could do this one. I mean, look at this. You don't even have to steer. You can do it without tricking too. It's that easy. I mean, this shortcut is so easy, we are even stretching the bounds of calling this a shortcut. Therefore, I think it definitely deserves a spot on this top 10 easiest list. That last shortcut was pretty easy, and you might think it's tough to top. Well, I might have topped it. It's the same general principle as the Rainbow Road one. There's a hole in the track, and we're cutting it off. Therefore, it's a shortcut. And wow, this is easy. 
Now, I'm not going to act like a blind man could do this first try because there are moles that appear in front of the ramp. And if you're not cautious, you could go straight into one of these off-road patches. However, one pair of eyes will make it extremely e easy for you. So there are a few difficulties, but let's talk about how easy it is. Now, in terms of easiness, this thing reigns supreme. You don't have to trick, you don't even have to steer. All you have to do is press A. Now, I would argue that this shortcut gives the Rainbow Road whole shortcut thingy, whatever you want to call it, a run for its money, and definitely deserves its place on this list. However, the shortcut is held back by just a few difficulties. The ending section can be a bit difficult if you don't have any hands, and the moles can be a bit unpredictable at times. This next up shortcut on our list is back to the undisputably definitely a shortcut style shortcut, the DK Summit Single. Now the main thing this shortcut has going for it is that literally everyone in the entire world has exercised shortcut before, which means it's going to be a bit more familiar to you. Even if you've never played Mario Kart Wii in your entire life and you only ever watched creators do this shortcut, you could probably still pull it off first try. It's very, very simple to do. Not only is this shortcut familiar to literally everyone in the entire world, but it can be done in a multitude of different ways. You could do it with a hop, without a hop, there's so many options. In terms of difficulties, this one is trapped quite often, and if you're not careful, you can end up going the wrong way on the red grate. Now, if you live under a rock and you're unfamiliar with it, you might accidentally go too wide, but even then, just by holding left, you're still gonna make the shortcut most of the time. With a severe lack of difficulty and tons of leniency, this one definitely cracks a spot onto our list. And we're back to shortcuts on this list that aren't actually shortcuts. Next up, going across the sand on Peach Beach. Yeah, that's right. Clearly intentional part of the track that is absolutely not a shortcut is gonna be on this list. It's another example of, oh, well, if you really stretch your imagination a lot and really think outside the box, it's a shortcut, guys. Wink, wink. It's not a shortcut, but just go with it. Now, in terms of difficulties, would you believe it? It actually has quite a few. First and foremost, the Cataquax can pose quite a threat, as hitting one will make you launch super high in the sky and lose your item. The Cataquax, also paired with the water that constantly rises and sinks, will actually pose somewhat of a threat to those who don't know what they're doing or have played the game for the first time. Now, in terms of easiness, it's pretty simple. Just drive straight across. Sometimes you don't have to wheelie. Sometimes you don't even have to turn. Mushrooms are not necessary for this shortcut. And even if you do hit some of the water, you're not going to be slowed down all the way most of the time to stop drifting. Definitely deserving of being on this top 10 easiest shortcut lists. However, with a few drawbacks as being the Cataquax and the water, it is giving me a tough time as saying if it is the easiest shortcut. And we're finally back to shortcuts that are actual shortcuts, as are most of the other shortcuts on this list. Most. In the grand scheme of things, this one is pretty simple. Go up to this part, use your mushroom, and you will make it across. Wheeling is not necessary on this shortcut. Neither is steering, or using the flame runner, or using Funky Kong. I mean, you can do this shortcut with relative ease. The only actual difficulty in this shortcut is timing the mushroom because, well, that's the only real thing to this shortcut. The only other difficulty I could think of is if you get shocked in this middle section right here, it's a pretty long way back to civilization. However, with a lack of a need to steer, wheelie, or do pretty much anything, this shortcut definitely has a good argument for being on this list. Next up on our list, we got the Desert Hills Glitch. Just kidding, but for real, on Desert Hills, the actual next thing on our list is the ending shortcut that cuts off the last turn. Not to be confused with the actual ending shortcut, no, I'm talking about at the very, very end, cutting off the last turn. That's the one I'm talking about. Now this one does come with a few difficulties. You do have to use a mushroom, and at the very end, you do have to tap right so as to stay on the track. Now those two things definitely are difficulties, however, I would say avoiding the two fire snakes that appear on lap 3 can actually pose as much more of a problem. Barely, I mean, if you actually take the shortcut normally, you probably are not going to hit them. However, if you do not have hands and 
Maybe, maybe, just maybe, if your name is Big Fry and you don't know how to drive at all, you might just hit the fire snakes. Now in terms of easiness, yep, that is definitely an easy shortcut. All you have to do is use your mushroom at the edge of the sand and then tap to the right to ensure your safety, and that's it. That's the entire shortcut. It can also be pretty useful at the end of lap 3 if you just so happen to have one more mushroom at the end of the race and you just want to pass first place and get that epic dub. But we don't care about usefulness, okay? We're just talking about easiness today, and in terms of easiness, this definitely has a case for being one of the easiest, if not the easiest shortcut in the whole game. Oh yeah, we're back, baby. Shortcuts that are barely even shortcuts. Did you miss it? If you missed that, let me put it in slow-mo for you. Shortcuts. It's another case of the it's just barely a shortcut kind of shortcut, as we're cutting off this tiny little patch of grass right here. The way this shortcut is pulled off, it's easiest if you get a trick off the mound and then you have to wheelie over the tiny little patch of grass. Now tricking off the mound isn't exactly necessary as it can be done anyways. And it can also be done without wheelieing as demonstrated here. However, getting the trick off the mound and getting the wheelie will definitely increase your odds of success. Now in terms of difficulties, that sounds so convoluted compared to some of the others. I mean, you got a trick off the mound and do a wheelie just to ensure your safety, that's too many button inputs for Blind Bob Joe. However, to counteract the convolutedness, all of the stuff that I just mentioned is not necessary at all. You don't have to get the mini turbo that I just got, you don't have to wheelie, none of that is necessary. It only helps you succeed. I mean, the only time you really need to steer is in the beginning. Other than that, maybe you have to do a slight recorrection, but you're gonna make it over the patch of grass, no problem. In the grand scheme of things, all you have to do is do a slight little turn and go forward and you're gonna make it just fine. Therefore, making it an extremely super duper easy shortcut to pull off. With all the helpful suggestions and difficulty thrown out the window, this one definitely is in a running for the money as the easiest shortcut in Mario Kart Wii and definitely deserves a spot on this list. Next up on our list is the DK Mountain Beginning Shortcut. This one's most comparable with the Dry Dry Ruins Ending Shortcut as you don't have to steer going into it and all you do is hit the mushroom button. In terms of difficulties, the most difficult part about this is how bouncy the track is. So that means when you land, you might have a slight shot at actually losing control and hitting the fence. But when I say slight chance, I mean slight chance. It's really not going to happen all that often. The only other difficulty I could find is you might accidentally hit this wall and totally get stuck in the shortcut. However, I think anyone that is playing this game with eyes that can see will not hit that wall. In terms of easiness, this one is about as easy as it gets. You only have to steer maybe once, you don't have to wheelie, you don't have to drift. All you have to do is hold A and hit L, and you will make it pretty much every single time. It's eerie how similar this one is to the Dry Dry Ruin shortcut since it's almost the exact same principle, except this one's at the beginning and the Dry Dry Ruins one is at the end. With all things said, I think it's pretty obvious that this one definitely deserves a spot on our list and is in the running for the most difficult shortcut in Mario Kart Wii. Now last but not least on our list, we have the Ramp on Koopa Cake. Now hear me out when I say this is a shortcut. Because if you look really, 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 really closely, you can see there is actually a gap that we are jumping over. Therefore, we're cutting off the track, and it's a shortcut. We can actually go behind the ramp and see the hole that we're actually jumping over, which means, yes, we are cutting off part of the track, guys. Now let's go over the general gist of this shortcut. You go up it, you fall down it, that's it. I don't really think I had to explain that to y'all. In terms of difficulties, wow, I really had to search for a few, but I actually came home with a few. If there is a trap on this bridge, you can fall off of it and into the void. Now I'm doing all of this in time trials, so there's not actually going to be any fake item boxes or bananas or green shells right here, but just pretend there were. You'd be falling to your death. 
Now, falling off because of traps is probably the most common way of dying on the shortcut. However, another method of failing this shortcut that might come as a surprise to some of y'all, and maybe not to others, is straight up just not making it to the other side. I have in the past, and definitely will in the future, accidentally misjudge where I'm supposed to land, and then fall off of it. Aside from those two things though, there are no more difficulties. Literally all you have to do to do this shortcut, hit A, that's it. That's all you have to do. I know that's a reoccurring theme for quite a few of these quote unquote shortcuts, but when you have shortcuts as easy as this, intricacy is gonna be second priority. I think I don't really have to explain why this one definitely deserves a spot on our top 10 easiest shortcuts list. And now for the easiest shortcut in Mario Kart history. It's the Koopa Cape ramp. It was between this one and the Rainbow Road holes. I went with this one because I've fallen off more on Rainbow Road than Koopa Cape, especially at the holes. Also on Rainbow Road, there are two holes, which means twice the riskiness and twice the risk of getting target shot. Here, there's only one small hole, which means a very small chance of getting target shocked. A small risk of getting target shocked, and the fact that you don't even have to steer, trick, drift, or anything, definitely puts this one at the number one easiest shortcut to do in Mario Kart Wii. Thank you so much for sitting through this unbearably cheesy video. No, but seriously, like, these videos take me a little over a while to make compared to some of the other videos I make, so if you made it this far, seriously, thank you so much. And with that, small fries, stay safe, stay cute, okay, that's an order. Stay loyal, because I already know you are. And, goodbye.